to document an examination, you could do it a couple different ways. I like to use the template section. So objective, templates, and here you'll see a variety of, of choices. All of these are customizable by using the edit button. But let's say that we want to do a uh, cervical or shoulder orthopedic exam. Select the box. And of course, all of these can be edited to match your own practice. But let's say that we're going to do shoulder cervical exam. So we'll select the heading. If all the tests in our examination were normal, then I would just click all these tests are normal. Or we could say all tests were normal with the exception of we had a right and left cervical compression test was positive and cervical distraction caused pain on the left and the right shoulder depression test was positive. All right, so we'll click done. And now when we open our note, we'll see that our examination is here stating that we did a cervical shoulder exam the tests, what they describe, and the tests were normal with the exceptions. Now the nice thing about this is that you can go in here and you can add your own tests for your own exam that you stand, that your standard exam that you do in the office. This way you can document your findings very, very quickly. Custom exam findings. So if you want to talk about uh, segmental findings, I hit spinal segmental findings. There was a left occiput listing. There were right thoracic listings and a left lumbar subluxation listing and a left sacral listing. If you'd like to put your own custom in here, exactly the way you want them described, that's what you would do. Edit or add and make these custom uh, templates fit your practice. In this case, we'll select done. Now we can open our note and come down here and we'll see that our spinal segmental listings are as we just indicated. 